sci-fi humans and welcome to another shop review and as always there's a lot of draws here that you should just ignore now we get into the real shop right here now the resources eh, there's crates in here so not really too ideal uh credits and free xp these aren't really good bundles that you want to actually purchase um, these however can be quite useful you got the premium days you got the gold if you need both premium days and gold this is not too bad of a deal however i would stay away from these that include credits then we go down to the vk90 right here in the tank section 2500 for the full bundle obviously we also have this one for 20,000, but the upsell here is obviously going to be worth it more and um, times fives obviously they're going to be locked to the vehicle you got credit boosters in here i think this is a fair enough price for the vehicle it's not perfect but it is good enough now the main downside of the tank is obviously the turret is at the rear and its main good feature that it's really amazing at is side scraping which is unfortunately something that isn't all that useful in world of tanks blitz because most people that play the city are terrible players so it's not really the best upside to have but nonetheless it is a good vehicle if you can put it in the right position the upper plate is very well armored uh the turret's pretty much impenetrable as well low plate obviously it's a weak spot it is also a lot wider than for example on a mouse so that is the big downside of this vehicle compared to like a mouse and um, you have 460 alpha damage uh 2.5 k dpm standard uh tier 10 heavy tank gun basically that is however very accurate and has 10 degrees of gun depression over the side of the vehicle like you don't get 10 over the front but you do get 10 over the side so if you turn the vehicle sideways ideally you always want to do that anyway like play a little bit like this in this kind of angle because that way your side is still hard to pen but obviously your low plate is going to be a little bit more effective as well so you just kind of want to angle it a little bit sideways not too far though because otherwise you're just going to get penned in the side anyway and the mobility it's super heavy tank like but it is a little bit faster than a mouse or an e100 so you'll be fine with that overall if you are looking for a tier 10 super heavy but it's really good side scraping and that's probably a better tank overall to play and more enjoyable than the mouse it can definitely be worth it there and we got the cobra here which uh to me is nothing but a meme so if you want a meme then uh here's your meme yeah, it's it's fine enough right if you want this meme vehicle you can go for it but i personally don't recommend something like the cobra whatsoever and we still have the steel guardians here it's a good enough bundle i mean it would be nice to have it cheaper but the t 42 one of the best tier rates in the game um, the Kennedy one is also a very solid tier 9 as well. So the contents of the bundle are really good. Which means I can highly recommend it. But you gotta look. Is it worth the price for you? Because that's what's important. The T42 is a perfect all-round vehicle and do just about anything. And the Kennedy one is a solid auto loader. It is also going to make you a lot of credits as well. So I can recommend it if you can shoulder the price. And we go down. Let's let's do this one first because the elusive scouts are a waste of money. Solved. Now, T77 M48A2. The M48A2 is a very overrated vehicle um, in the history of the game so far, uh, from my experience. So 13,500 for this bundle is not a good price. The T77 obviously is the prime to rate autoloader heavy tank. If you want one, this is the one to get. It costs 8.5k on its own, which if you really do want it now get it but it is going to be eventually cheaper again hopefully so there is not really much much point here unless you really want the t77 to, to pick up the t77 for 8.5k because uh this vehicle it's just you know i mean it's it's pointless basically like it's very pointless obviously it does have one advantage this is pretend armor which means that if you're playing against a very bad player on the enemy team they might not know that you can just pen straight through this plate into the lower plate of the vehicle uh, but overall you have a gun that's uh, fine i mean it doesn't have 180 millimeters of penetration that's a huge upside here um but generally you've got nine degrees of gun that person you've got that bad patent turret that can, can you can you not do that please don't you've got that terrible patent turret that's just gonna get you penned in the face um so overall it's also a massive target as well and it's not really that good like it's an okay-ish vehicle but it never in any way justifies the price right here so just ignore that the endurance again if you like space there's that and then there's this bundle which is very good tornwagen's a good tank types a good tank uh they're both very good for tier 8 heavy tanks so if you need two good tier 8 heavy tanks and you don't want to overpay 
for the T77 or T42, then this can be a perfect bundle right there. And then the Object 907, it is the essentially Object 140 of Tier 10s, that it's kind of pointless um, in, in a way. Obviously, if you're a really good player, you can still extract a lot of performance out of this thing. But generally, I don't recommend the 907 in its current state. It is a bit... It's a bit sad what the 907 is currently. And that concludes that. Which means now, we're going to play a tank. And if you happen to watch this video on the day of its release, then watch the stream on the same day, because there will be a giveaway in it. Here we go with the VK90. Now, the downside of this vehicle is also sort of its upside. The turret is at the back. So if you are in a city map like this one, you could choose to side scrape and would be pretty much impenetrable. However, there is one slight problem with that. That generally, the city side of a map is always going to be the bad side of a map. Like, if you control the medium side in the middle, you have a much better advantage in terms of map control than if you control the middle and the heavy side. Or just the heavy side, which happens sometimes as well, and which is terrible. So, you're not really having too much of an advantage from that advantage, because you have an advantage in a place that you don't really need it. But, however, you still have a vehicle here that is going to perform quite well if you do put it in the right positions. Like, for example, I can side scrape off here. I know the enemies are in the city, so I can side scrape off a position like this, or you can go side scrape a position like this, and then go in here. Like, the guys are gonna cover this side, so I can... I know he just fired. I know he can also reload by the time I peek. So I'm just gonna peek sideways, and he misses. And now I can, for example, side scrape off a place like here. Obviously, it's gonna be uh, questionable, because I'm gonna have to watch out that I don't get flanked from the other side here. Um, I can just, like, uh, take a pot shot at this guy. And now, again, set up the side scrape around this corner. Now, it's a rounded corner, so it's not the perfect place to side scrape off, but it's gonna work nonetheless. So, I'm just gonna peek like this now. Third armor on this thing is very good, so there's absolutely no complaints there. Gonna, gonna set up here a little bit. Obviously, the problem is if you're side scraping, you're kind of limited in, in the position you can move to. And the VK72 is a terrible vehicle at side scraping because it has a turret at the rear, but it has this massive cutout for where the turret put, uh, gets put in. Uh, that it's basically just free penetration all day long if you're trying to side scrape a VK72. Look at that. Um, so do not try to side scrape a VK72. Don't don't do that. It's a bad idea. However, do side scrape this thing because it works quite marvelously. All right, there we go. So this guy. So the enemy team are not focusing on me as much as they should. Uh, but then again, they don't know what I can do. So it's always very useful. Now let's see. Five v five. That one guy's out there. Gonna hello. I love the the front armor on this thing is insane. Uh, low plate, like just wiggle the thing back and forth. That's one very important tip I can give you for any, for any vehicle. Just wiggle the damn thing. If you wiggle the tank, you make it a lot harder to get pen, especially if you have a lot of armor. I set up another side scrape. I think I side scraped every corner of this place now, except for uh, that one. But I'll, maybe I'll get to that later. So, again, set up that one. There's nothing the 113 can do really. And he can shoot uh, heat at the, the side of the turret. That's about it. Um, Hello, hello. That's dead. Problem solved. And that's a 777 and the 113. And obviously, if he goes out wide enough, and he has very good heat rounds, he can still pen the side anyway. And then if I go out wide enough, I can pen his side. And that's that. All right. Now only the 777777 left. So basically, if you are a heavy tank enthusiast, if you are into super heavies, this is a very good pickup. As you can see here, 5,000 damage. Not too bad. Well, it's not the first game I played, but I forgot to turn on the microphone for the first two. So this is kind of the only game I played. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's good. It's a good tank. I can recommend it.